Hello Aries, welcome to your April 2019 He Said She Said reading. Thank you for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name is Richard. Doing something a little bit differently this month. We're doing a true He Said She Said reading. I'll be reading as you Aries and Richard will be reading as the person that you're uh, thinking about or dealing with. And depending on how you identify, either side could resonate. So please keep that in mind. So Aries, let's take a look at your oracle cards. Firstly, from Alice the Wonderland, you've pulled the card of keeping up, immense effort and advancement. So the bad news with this one is that whatever you're going towards here is going to take a lot of effort. There's an energy here of having to do a lot of work, having to put in a lot of energy towards uh, advancement, getting to the next stage in your life, whatever that may mean for you Aries. The good news is that this is probably the hardest you'll have to work for a good long time. But the only way out of your current situation is to accelerate, uh, get intense and push for the breakthrough that is just ahead of you. You may need to devote more time on it than you'd wish and sacrifices may need to be made but you will push through the resistance and get to that next stage in your life. Very much a time of hard work. Now Richard has pulled from the Oracle of Mystical Moments and he's pulled the card of Keys on Trees. So Keys on Trees, you can see that little elephant there in the cage. Now apparently he's not distressed. There are keys hanging from the trees and if he picks one he can open the cage and release himself into the wild. No situation is too complicated to be solved. Look in unexpected places for answers. You have the creativity to find the way out. So that might be the other part of the equation here, Eric. <coughs> looking in unexpected places to find the answers that you're looking for. Okay, let's have a look. Aries, I've already meditated on your energy, so let's cut these cards. And <clears throat> we'll focus in on the status of your relationship, how you feel about this person, strengths and weaknesses, Let's also look and see what you should continue to do with this relationship, what you should stop doing, and let's look at the outcome if nothing changes. I'm going to lay down the same cards, Aries. Status of a relationship, what this person, how this person feels about you, strengths of the relationship, weakness of relationship, what this person should keep doing, what this person should stop doing, and the outcome if nothing changes. Okay, let's have a look at the status. Queen of Cups, okay. So you're coming up as a, a watery kind of sign here. So Aries, you may have some water in your chart or you're just feeling this sense of wanting to be more, show you more nurturing, caring, loving side. Mm. So there's an energy here around you, Aries, of wanting to put attention towards something. It could be your relationship, but it's taking a lot of effort. So for you, you're kind of putting in all of the, the energy here. You're, you're putting it in all of your emotion into this relationship. Let's see how this people, person is feeling about the status of a relationship. So we have the sun here. Now that's that's nice energy. So the sun is all about, in this case I think it's about enlightenment. I think it's about beginning to see things a certain way. Yeah, a lot of clarity I feel over there, which is really nice. Mm. Let's take a look and see how you're viewing this person here, Aries. The devil, okay. Little bit of energy that I'm picking up around this is I don't feel that it's addiction. I don't feel that it's anything that's truly bad. I, I, I do pick up, however, that there might be a little bit of, I pick it up as greed, actually. I pick it up as greed, a, a desire for more material kinds of things. So I also get I pick up here that, that it, it's a very much a, well, it, it's almost like you, you feel that this person is obsessed, obsessed with wanting 
material things. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. So over here, how this person's feeling? The lovers in reverse. Well, this person could also be a Gemini and they're not showing the best part of a Gemini selves. The other way of looking at this is probably the, the probably the more likely is that they are not very happy with how the relationship is going. Uh, they're not really feeling the love. Now they are beginning to see things a different way. So we'll have to see where this reading goes from this point to see how that pans out. Let's have a look at the strengths between you. The lovers, okay, very nice. So I do feel on your part, Aries, that you have love for this person. You have uh, compassion. You're supportive of this individual. So you want this relationship, even though you see them possibly having some kind of unhealthy pattern. It's a, a, a tie to something that you feel is unhealthy. And I pick it up as in relation to money, um, the desire for money, all of that kind of thing. Okay, so over here, the strength of the relationship for this person. King of Wands in reverse. As a strength. Well, it seems to me, Aries, like you're giving a lot of support to this person. This person looks like they might be going through some sort of midlife crisis. And that's a strength because you're supporting them through this. Mm. Yeah, I feel they need you, Aries, in some capacity mm. because they're feeling uh, maybe they've reached a point in their life where they're just feeling a bit less enthusiastic or, or less. It may even be, for some of them, it might be a health issue, you know, that they, mm. they may be feeling bad with their health. Yeah, in any case, if they're feeling so bad that they feel like the relationship might be in trouble, at least from their point of view. Yeah. Let's have a look at the weakness. I've got the Three of Cups in reverse. Now, I don't feel that that's a third party. I actually feel that this is just you wanting to have some, some fun. You feel like the fun has gone out of this. Even though you still want this relationship, you, you feel like it's kind of like this other person may have too much of a emphasis put on money, the uh, obtaining of money, work. But meanwhile, you'd like to get out there and have some fun, enjoy time with friends, socialize with friends and family. And although you 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 love this person you like spending time with them you also want to spend time with with your friends as, as well Aries and this this may be a block this person may keep you somehow from doing that hmm okay so over here the weakness for this person king of pentacles in the upright as a weakness I see this as being related to the devil card over here as to what Michelle was saying earlier being related to greed the need for material things and just a constant constant working for material things so as a weakness that's what that's what the king of pentacles in the upright represents working too hard working for those goals perhaps at the expense of having some fun mm -hmm. let's have a look and see what you should continue to do here Aries, the Page of Cups. So continue to offer your love. Continue to be you. I mean, you're coming up here as the Queen of Cups, whether you're male or female. So for you, it, it's all emotion-based. So for you, be yourself. You know, don't let this person stop you from enjoying your life. Uh, from Don't let them stop you from being someone who... Uh, is open. I get a, a very open kind of energy around you. This person I feel has a closed off energy, an unhealthy closed off energy. I mean, look at look at that that kind of energy around them. But for you, I, I get this sense of more innocence. I get innocence. I get playfulness. Someone that has is, doesn't have that um, taint of unhealthy behavior mm. around them mm. so for, as for this person here the what they should continue doing the hanged man in the upright 
So this person should continue to try and see things from a new perspective. We already see signs of that down here with the sun, that's illumination. And their best advice is to continue with that energy. Perhaps it has to do with this business of wanting material things mm. and wanting and the advice being that it's time to look more at what your partner is doing. Mm. Over here, this person is feeling like the relationship is in trouble. But I think that they just can't see past what they're doing themselves mm. with regard to making a lot of money and concentrating on getting material wealth. The new perspective has to do with looking at you Aries in a different way, beginning to see you as the caring, compassionate, nurturing person that you're going to be. Uh, the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Cups here as well. A lot of effort. that you. I see you putting in all of the effort here Aries. I, I think this person over here needs to begin to see that. Further they need to begin to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see what you should stop doing, Aries. Ten of Swords, okay. So the cards are saying that you shouldn't give up, that you shouldn't put an end to this. Not without one big giant effort. Now this is going to be probably the hardest you'll have ever worked to keep this relationship alive. But the cards are saying that if this is something that you truly want, and I feel it is, that for you it's going to take an enormous effort. But your effort to keep this together or to, to make this work may force this other person to look at this from that different perspective. Yeah. And maybe to, to sacrifice or let go of some kind of unhealthy pattern that they have that they need to let go of. Yeah, the opportunity is there, I think, with the sun here. Mm. Yeah, if the sun wasn't here, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so sure. But I, I'd say mm -hmm. that you, you have a chance, Aries. One, one huge push and you could bring this to the finish line. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so over here in the what this person should stop doing, stop being the queen of swords. So it sh this person needs to, to stop trying to cut things out of their life. And I have a feeling that what they're trying to do, Aries, is block, block you out in a certain way. Mm. And it's because... First of all, this person here is focused too much on working, on gaining material goods. Also, they, I think they have negative feelings towards you wanting to go out and have some fun and they're trying to, they're trying to cut that out. Mm. And I, I think they've got to stop that behaviour. I think there's got to be uh, less of that kind of stuff and more appreciation of what you're trying to do in, on your side Aries. Yeah, I see all of the effort on when it comes to the emotional side over here and from that side from them I see it it's mainly to do with status security and maybe even a, a little bit of detachment as, as well yeah at the cost perhaps of the relationship yeah which is why they might be not feeling so great about what's going on with it let's have a look at the outcome if nothing changes knight of pentacles and there's there's that hard work there's that uh, that effort that's going to require but like this night it's going to be a very slow process but if you continue and don't give up you'll eventually get there but again it's going to take an enormous amount of hard work and you being very focused and not taking your eye off the end game here your goal yeah, the outcome over here on this side we've got the five of swords there's an energy around this card of wanting to win all the time mm. so i get the sense again it's got to do with perhaps what's going on over here with this with this three of cups in the mm. reverse mm. I, I really get the sense this person does not like you going out and having fun aries they want you to focus 
more on what they want to focus on, which appears to be work and does not appear to be the this, the coming together of this relationship. Mm. You're doing all the hard work, Aries. I really get that feeling. Yeah. And this person here just seems to, to want to be the victor. And that's not going to... I don't think that's really going to be that helpful yeah. in get, moving this relationship forward. But this is what's going to happen if nothing changes. So I think this is going to be the, the obstacle that you're going to face. There's going to be a lot of hard work overcoming this. It's, it's going to take a lot of work. And I look at keys on trees over there as their energy of needing to find a different way of dealing with things. Because what, how they seem to deal with you wanting to, uh, to have some fun, they see this as frivolous in some way. Maybe even threatening. Maybe even threatening. But uh, they seem to always want to deal with, with this or, or problems in your relationship by feeling like they're getting one up on you or uh, making, making you walk away defeated. Uh, but they need to, to look at things from a different perspective and find a new way, find a new solution to what they're viewing as a uh, as a problem yeah i get the sense aries this the problem in this relationship is not at your end i really get the sense it's with your partner here they have they're feeling this this lack of confidence due to going through what i think is a midlife crisis they're throwing themselves into work but they also feel like the relationship is in trouble mm. From your end, you're putting in all the effort. I don't feel like this person is putting in very much emotional effort here. It's like they've checked out. In, in, in its own way. But we do, we do have the sun over here and the hanged man as their, as, as their advice as to what they should keep doing. Yeah. And if they were to give a bit more from their end, then they could help push mm -hmm. this relationship over the finish yeah. line. Stop, stop working so much. Mm -hmm. I, be open to a bit of fun, I, I feel. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I think, in the end, stop a bit of this behaviour. Yeah. So let's see where this continues in part two. We'll be pulling out a lot more cards. We'll be clarifying all of the uh, positions here. And we'll go further in depth and see what's going to... If we can pull out more information on, on how this is going to turn out, Aries. So if this is resonating, please join us there. The link will be below in the descriptions box, and that will be on the Vimeo channel. If we don't see you there, then we wish you the best. Don't forget, if you would like a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. And that email is also in the box below. So wishing you the best with this, Aries. Thank you, Aries. Goodbye, good luck.